Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting these grapes and I'm going to be demonstrating how you can paint them too with very easy and simple techniques. I am a self-taught artist and all the techniques that I share with you in this channel are the ones that I've learned along the way and work well for me. All the projects I do in this channel are my own creations and design. If you would like to see how I painted these beautiful grapes, stay with me and let's paint together. Today I'm working on my 10 by 7 watercolor sketch pad. Because this is going to be an acrylic painting, you can paint it on any surface. And I'm going to start with a sketch. I'm not going to attach a pattern for this painting. I'm going to show you how easily you can sketch it. I have a piece of cardboard behind my uh, watercolor paper because I don't want the other sheets on my pad to get paint. Okay, so I'm going to roughly divide my paper in four quadrants in the middle here and again here. I'm just using a pencil and then I'm going to decide where I want my grapes and I want my my blue grapes in here. So I'm basically going to draw a triangle. A triangular shape here and my yellow grapes are going to be in here. So I'm going to draw a triangle in here. So I have two triangles. Now I'm going to round the forms a little bit. I want to make sure I, you know, I leave enough space at the top, at the bottom, and on the sides of my painting. I want to make sure my grapes are centered in the middle and nothing spills over to the sides. And here are going to be my, my shadows. And I'm going to add some leaves. I'm just going to draw them like this. And I can draw some leaves in here. Just this, just like a plain leaf. And then I'm gonna cut what makes the cut the little peaks that is so distinctive on a grape leaf. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for now. And with an eraser, I'm going to erase all the lines that I use for my sketch. My sketch is ready, it's well centered. There's enough room at the sides and at the top as well. And I'm going to apply some a background color. I'm using very basic colors today and I'm going to list them all on the description box below. If I was painting on a canvas or a canvas board, I would have prepped the canvas the night before with gesso and a little bit of paint, maybe cream or beige. But because I'm working on paper, I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. I'm using a round brush with some yellow and white and a little bit of blending gel. 
And with a round mop brush, I'm just blending a little bit the edges. I'm switching to a light purple in here. Now I'm going to make the bottom green. I have green with white and a lot of gel medium in here just to make the colors flow. Now I'm going to add a little bit of shadows in here with my green and my purple. I have staged my background and I'm going to start painting, putting the first layer on my grapes. These are going to be dark purpley and these ones are going to be green yellow grapes. I'm going to start with a light yellow coat on both of them. And I'm using a lot of my blending gel to allow the acrylic paint to move the way I want it to move nice and loose and create lots of light layers of paint. I mixed a little bit of my yellow with my red and green and I'm going to add a little bit of shadow on some areas mainly at the bottom where it will be it would be darker to create the translucency that the grapes have i like to add layers of very light washes of color i have a little bit of blue and purple on my brush to create the blue shape that I want and with the same round brush I can start creating the shape of the grapes. Now I'm going to start from the bottom and you can use a brush like I'm doing or you can use a small little beauty blender like this one which is probably what I'm going to use. These are called mini beauty blenders and it's a sponge it's just a makeup sponge and I will rinse it with water and squeeze all the water out. And I'm going to use this because it will speed up the process. And I'm going to start doing my, my grapes like this. I have mixed my yellow with a little bit of green and I'm going to start creating my green grapes in here just the same way. Mudding a little bit lighter at the top and a little bit darker at the bottom. I'm going to start defining my grapes and I'm going to use a technique which is called floating. And I'm picking up some blending gel on my brush. I'm using an angled brush. This is what I like to work with. You can use a flat brush if you prefer. And I'm picking up a little bit of my white on the tip of the brush and blending it. But just keeping the white on the tip of the brush. And I'm going to start at the top defining my grapes with the Try to find the grapes where you created them with your beauty blender. For the lower ones, I'm using a little bit more yellow. I'm going to start defining my, my blue grapes. And I have the same color that I use, a purpley blue with a little bit of white to do my floating. Now I'm going to start at the top. Keeping the light in the same way as my yellow ones. I have a little bit of red and green on the tip of my brush this time. And I'm going to start defining the bottom of my green grapes. I'm 
the bottom area and I have a little bit of blue and red this time to define my blue grapes and I'm going to do the same thing just at the bottom my grapes are already coming alive but to create that translucency of the grape I'm going to add some light on the other side of the grape I'm using yellow at the tip of the brush I'm going to add some light and I'm going to add a little bit of green with yellow and white also a little bit of a teal color just to make my grapes more interesting A little bit of red on this ones just to add some light and we're going to go back to our white and add some more highlight to the top of the grapes I have a little bit of white and purple at the tip of the brush and I'm going to add highlights in here now I'm going to add just plain white to some at the top with my round brush and a little bit of white I have a little bit of medium with the white as well I'm just going to add the final shine on my grapes I mixed a little bit of brown with red and green and I can add some details in here not not necessary but if you want to add more details to your grapes you can can do the same for this one so I added more purple to my liner brush we're going to do the leaves now for the leaf I'm going to use my angled brush and I have a little bit of red and green on the toe and some yellow at the heel of my brush and I'm just going to press my brush and create half of this leaf and this one and for the other side I loaded my brush the opposite I have the darker green there and yellow and white on this side now I'm going to move my canvas to create this this one now I have some green and yellow on my brush this time I'm going to create this one and with the opposite colors I'm going to do the other side I'm going to create this little stem here and touch up this one with some green and a little bit of purple at the tip and yellow at the end I'm going to add the illusion of little leaves I'm going to emphasize the shadows a little bit at the bottom just to give my painting a little more dimension now I'm going to use the same dark green dark green with a little bit of purple and blending gel and I'm just going to add more of the effect of my shadows in here I can do other things, maybe darken up the horizon line up here. And this painting is done, my friends. And as you can see, 
with some very easy techniques you can create these beautiful grapes i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one